Hello there, all you tiger hunters out there looking for the next good deal. Uh, I have another unboxing from Chicago Knife Works. This is a hundred and eleven dollar box. It is nine knives. Comes out to twelve dollars and thirty three cents a knife. I uh, last week recently got this, the Stone by Frost, and I was so enamored by these covers. I had to order a bunch more, of course. So, uh, I think five of them are those stone. Let's get into it. I already cracked it open to make sure the right side was open. There's my packing slip. Hopefully I will read off the prices. They're all very similar, so hopefully I get them right. Let's put this off to the side. Let's grab the first one. <clears throat> I don't see a number. But it is the Silver Horse Stoneworks. S SHS, <clears throat> excuse me, SHS 120BT. Um, also was pretty impressed by the Stoneworks series by Frost. Um, Smoky Mountain Knifeworks calls it uh, Stagmone. But at uh, Chicago Knifeworks... They call it torched bone, which makes sense. Um, now I know stag torches takes a better burn better than bone, so I'm not sure which one it is, but I really like the covers on these. This is obviously the doctor's knife. Um, I'm going to have to show them all together sometime, but you got the file work. Got the black blade file work on the back. Now you can, uh, it's flat on the bottom, you can stand it up. They used to use these to crush pills. I don't feel a half stop. And the tongue depressor, or what, you can uh, move pills around. So very cool. My first doctor's knife. Let's go to the next one. It's a queen. This one is QN26WB. It is the Small Stockman. Thrifty Kniffy just did a review of the Small Stockman by Queen. It is the red synthetic. This is the same knife, but in the winter bottom bone. Ah, back springs look, they look all right. Little gap by the bone. Looks like it has chunks taken out of this uh, liner, just like Thrifty's. Pretty cool knife. What is it, like three and a quarter inch? 440C. Wow, this is the smallest stockman I have. Really nice sheep's foot. Almost like a ram's foot there. And of course, not the pen, but the spade blade. That's a really decent spade blade. Very nice. Of course, forgot to mention the prices on these. This uh, small winter bottom stockman was ten fifty two. I think like a dollar thirty something more than thrifty Kniffy's. This uh, torched bone uh, frost medical knife, doctor's knife. Let's see, they call it the small doctor's knife. It was fifteen twenty. A little bit more pricey for this series. It probably has to do with the back back spring file work. Another silver host horse stone work. Uh, S H. One two B T. Hmm. Oh, ooh, this is like a sow belly stockman. Same file work. Wow, I just love this torched bone. This has round bolsters. No half stops. Nail neck on that one's like a long pull. 
Very nice. It's called the Wrangler Torched. This was fifteen dollars and twenty cents. Let's keep them together. Looks like we have another Silver Horse Stoneworks. SHS 109 BT. So, I don't really, I'm not a fan of smaller knives, and there's some patterns I don't have, and this is a pattern I don't have. This is my very first toothpick. But like I said, these covers are so nice on these that it's causing me to explore other patterns. And this is like three inches? Yeah. Three inches. Very teeny. I got the peanut in this series, and it was like, wow, that's small, but this is, I'm just, I just really love the covers on this. Don't know how much I'll be using these, but I just want to collect them all. And they are cheaper at Chicago Knife Works than they are at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and a lot of these, I didn't see a couple of these even for sale there. I don't know if they were already sold out. Okay. There's four. Boy, the rest are all going to be uh, stone. We got a Steel Warrior SW216TQT. Going to have to make this quick. Oh, no plastic on this one. Oh, this is the small copperhead. So this is almost like a peanut size. Peanuts are under three inches. They're like two and 0.88 inches. This is three inches. It's got a sticker there. So it's it's a copperhead, but it's a, it's different than the other copperhead I have. The other one I have is a, is a locking, and the blades are on the same side. Uh, this one is a lot smaller. Oh, it's small. But just I love those covers. And then it's got a little teeny, teeny, tiny pen blade here. We got next. Ooh, a little dent to the box. Hope this one's alright. Of course, I haven't mentioned prices on it. The toothpick was $11.69. Uh, this small... Where is it here? Little Copperhead was nine dollars and thirty-five cents, which is good because it's small. Yeah, I'm just glad Steel Warrior bucked up and got these magnetic boxes. So this is a pattern I, I wanted to get the bigger one. They were out. They had a smaller one. I probably wouldn't get it. It's a lockback, but again another pattern that I probably wouldn't have getting, gotten but it the stonework is just so nice and it could be plastic I'll find out if one falls off I'll be able to really check it out a little bit better but it doesn't it could just be like really dense plastic so this is um, the frost cutlery Chocata lockback and it was uh, two dollars and eighty six cents. Three more to go, and I think they're all the stonework. Um, FSW one two zero TQT. Oh, ho. another doctor's knife. Again, I, I've never. I was gonna get uh, the. Rosecraft Blaze Doctor's Knife, but, um, I didn't. Wow, this is really nice. I don't know how much I'll use these, but this is a nice slim carry. It's got a long pen blade. And unlike the Rosecraft, the Rosecraft has a small pen blade. This just has the pill separator, tongue depressor. Might be able to use it for something else. Don't feel any blade wobble there. Again, just look at... It's a bright knife. 
Okay, we're on 10 minutes here. Two more to go. FSW 107 TQT. Feels light. I think I think it's the peanut. My second peanut in the collection. I like I said, they're so small. I don't even know how much I like them, but come on. Look at that peanut. The other peanut I have is in this torch bone and and I like it. And I do not have a case peanut. I will have to get one, but they're they're pretty pricey. So I figured I'd try out the pattern first. Um, this this peanut, if it even says here, is nine dollars and thirty five cents. So it's funny. I mean, I can get like trappers and barlows for almost the same price. And it's a three finger knife, but you know, I'm, I've got the peanut bug, like I was telling RJ. That's cool. It's got a little pen blade. Little teeny, little teeny pen blade. And I always see reviews of these and they look so much bigger in the screen than they are in real life. Okay, last knife. Oh, it's a heavy one. SW108TQT. This one, I think it is... The stone, yep, the stone trapper. $15.20. Um, I've been really impressed with the frost trappers. Uh, they all have half stops. Wow, that's gorgeous. I'm, and I'm going to do a more in-depth review on uh, these. The, the quality, I see a little gapping in the back spring. The blades actually look really good. Oh, this one doesn't have a half stop. These are all Steel Warrior, by the way, which they are their own by Frost. But my other Steel Warriors have half stops. This one doesn't. But like I said, I got it specifically for these awesome covers. I do notice, though, on the threading, I do see like black marks in there. And I usually can scrub them out. I think it's just gunk from the factory. Um, yeah, my copper lock also had that. It took a little bit to get that out. So there you go. Nine knives. Average out to $12.33. You heard the prices. I think I said them all. I don't know how many more of these unboxings, uh, unboxings I'm going to do. I always think, oh, I got enough knives. And then I find some crazy pattern or series that I like and I just I got to get them and so now I have six stoneworks and I think five well, this is the silver horse stoneworks this is just called the stone series and this is steel horse or steel warrior and this is silver horse and of course another winter bottom to put in my collection thank you very much for watching guys have a great night